Yeah, it is. We are it honored is. to have them in the house. No. Exactly. Let them go like that. We need to. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. <laughs> okay, viewers. Um, right here in the house, we have our mama, Apostle Doctor Uloma. I can't believe this is happening. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Well, my office has been invaded. And uh, we have our father in the house. Whoa! <laughs> Bishop Osai in the house. What's the matter? He's our father. Why are you stressing that? Bishop. That's very important. That's the power. That's the power. Okay, but Mama, um, what you ask me just now? Um, very simple question, man. Uh, what year were you given the vision of? Uh, Okay. It is well with him, my soul. Yeah? It's not 2008, Abby. I, yeah? I don't know, because who have invaded my privacy? Hmm? It's 2008, you know. What does you want to ask me? This is the invasion of privacy. <laughs> okay, 2008, man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and since that 2008, I I know there must be you know a lot of challenges, you know. How do you pass through those challenges? Oh, okay. it, it, it's not the challenges that gives us a stepping stone to get to where we are. Yeah, it's bishop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are bishop now, so you should understand what I'm talking about. It's the challenges that gives us the, the, the stepping stones to where we are. There has been challenges. If I go into them, I doubt it will go here today. I don't know if I should start with the people or with the uh, other commissions or with the even colleagues in ministry or which one am I talking about? There have been challenges, but Jehovah has been faithful. Uh -huh. So Jehovah has been faithful. With uh, we, we also understand that you've been doing all, all the food pantry. Oh, HDI Vision. Yeah, so how did you. HDI Vision came in South Korea. I don't know if I ever told you, I went to, I went to South Korea to this, um, to this World Peace uh, Center, you know, and then um, in, the, in the hotel room in Ramada, Ramada Hotel in Seoul, that was where the Lord spoke to me concerning HDI, Humanity Development Initiative, and uh, HDI is like the health and philanthropy aspect of what we do. So uh, you will also believe that in times like this, a lot of people need help, okay. different kinds of help, especially with this food you're talking about. There are people that go to bed hungry and getting better, especially children. So we just put in the little we can to, to encourage them. To them. So that was, uh, the disciples, I remember, was this kind of thing that they were doing. Of course, it's the gospel to really spread the word. They said that the people that have the first of it, and then, you know, everybody there is comfortable and they were able to pray. You know, most people are hungry. If you tell them, praise the Lord, they are we will be hungry every day. Mm. Huh? Mm. <laughs> but when they're beaten, if you tell them, hallelujah, the amen. What the Lord? We understand it. But they actually uproot the building. And we want the amen that are good buildings. Okay. That's why you're looking at me like this. What exactly do you have in mind? Let me just ask you. My office was invaded, though. is not a church and it's never 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 gonna metamorphosize into a church it's an interdenominational ministry and um, the core purpose of what we do is to unify the church and also make the name of jesus famous 
Most times if we say Jesus must be famous, a lot of people will begin to say, Jesus is already famous, Jesus is already famous. Why? Do you think so? What made Jesus famous in these days? It was the impact, the miracles that were done. If you have not like experienced a wow miracle, you don't understand the meaning of Jesus must be famous. You understand it? It was the impact even to the woman at the well, right? It was what happened to her that caused her to enter the city and won the whole city. You understand it? So when we mean Jesus must be famous, we are saying that you should join us and become a Jesus advertiser. Mm -hmm. Who did you tell today about you? Mm. Can you leave I'm, my office effectively? I'm about to leave, but one more question, man. Okay. Oh. We we understand you also have a place for Giga. So oh my God. Okay, okay. You know, just to be your dinner at this interview, I would have been looking good, you know. You know, you should me. But I would have been looking good, you know, properly. How am I looking now? Awesome. Minister Chris, how do I look? You look good, man. Okay. You look good. Alright. Gilgal. Gilgal is our mountain of favor. Can you remember what happened in Gilgal? In Gilgal was the place the Lord turned away the reproach of the children of Israel. Where we have as Gilgal is um, our prayer camp, is our prayer mountain. We also did what we call sights and sounds of Jerusalem. Lots of you cannot go to Jerusalem, right? Now you want to experience Jerusalem for yourself, come to Gilgal. Everything in Jerusalem is there. We have the Pool of Bethesda, we have Mount Camel, Mount Gibeon, we have Mount Olives, uh, Gethsemane, uh, uh, Shepherd's Field, uh, uh, the grave, the grave of Jesus, where, where you know the grave where he came out, then even where he was given birth to in Bethlehem, and we have Jordan, where we do the baptism by immersion. Oh! Let me not tell you the whole thing, because um, just come, come, come. We'll take you around there to do the best last thing you see, which I'm watching it and you're part of one of you. God bless you. Can someone tell me this? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.